All right, here we go. I got the part switched around, and yes, I've already drilled out the cotter pin holes. A couple of them. We're gonna be blending right over those. I'm gonna small start with small, small, small cuts. Five thousand seven inch. I gotta get this blended in right here where the bend was earlier. I said 5 thousandths of an inch. Uh, actually, I stand corrected. It's only 1 thousandth right now because I just wanted to do a small light pass to see where it was at. Next pass, I'll probably crank it up to 5 thousandths total, which is 4 thousandths more than where we're at. I just want to see where the end of it's going to be blending at right here. That's kind of cool. It looks like that's spinning this way, which looking from this end would be clockwise, but it's actually spinning counterclockwise. It's just crazy how the video makes it look like it's going the other way, when in reality it's not. And just like earlier, that little dark spot right here, we gotta get rid of that little dark spot and that's where it blends in at. That's pretty close right there. We might not have to go very far. All right there, let's kick it in. Actually, instead of 5,000 something, oh uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go 5,000. 5,000 is total. 4,000 more to where we're at. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Nice and smooth. Slow and steady. Try to clean those holes out a little bit. Leaving shavings in them. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Actually got that wobble out. So as soon as this thing blends, this thing's going to be straight as an arrow. Tiny, tiny shavings. I mean, nice, smooth, clean finish. So look at the reflection of the lights. There's two lines that run side by side. When those are like then they're identical, it's pretty much done. Uh, that's a little hair pass. Maybe there's still a slight bend in there. Maybe it won't be as straight as an arrow. <laughs> I'm gonna crank it up 3,007 inch. And we'll see where it's at. We're at 8 thousandths total of an inch. I might just call it good after this because, like I said earlier, it's not a critical component. It's just a pin going through a trailer hole to hold a lamp in. It doesn't have to be very precise as long as we have this little rod to run through it. That's all that matters. I'll probably just use some scotch white to blend it in right there as best I can by hand. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Wobbling, just 
trying to get a better view of where we're going to end up at. I think it's going to blend pretty good right here. Oh yeah. There we go. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just going to hit it with this. Blend it in myself. Get a good finish on this side. Be careful not to touch the spindle. You almost can't even tell where it was at. And there you have it. Pull this up. Zoom out of here. I'll tell you what. It looks pretty dang good. Cotter pin holes. That's pretty straight. I like it. Looks good.